Hey everyone, how's it going? And welcome back to the Minecraft Survival Let's Play. Thank you again for all the amazing support everyone's left on the last episode and for the series itself. I truly do appreciate it. So what we did in the last episode was we got to work on a brand new project, with this, which is the Village Oasis in the desert. A lot of you really did enjoy this new project as well. It kind of takes a little break from the mountain town we have. And a lot of you are really excited because I've never worked in the desert biome like I mentioned in the last episode. And especially we're close to the jungle, so eventually we can branch off into there so today we're going to continue to work on the village oasis i have a few new buildings you can see in the background some new updates i've done off screen i'm going to show you around a little bit there and then we're going to go work on a market area around here as well so again if you guys are excited for today's episode and want to see more make sure you go ahead and hit that like button let's go ahead and see if we can reach 100 likes for today's episode and if you are new don't forget to subscribe as well and stay notified by hitting that little bell button as well so let's get started in today's episode so i'm going to show you guys around on what i've done off screen it hasn't been too much but it's been a few details the main detail you may see right now is this large tower right over here now i figured i wanted to add this because one it just adds a bit more character to this village and makes it look like a bigger town in the village which is kind of the goal um and pretty much there's nothing special to it besides having a small door here with a long long one block uh, uh tunnel kind of going straight up so eventually we'll add ladders going to the top uh uh, but that's pretty much it. It's just a very simple build. Um, and it just didn't take too much time. So that, I think, looks great. It adds a little bit more detail. Um, I've also done a few updates here. I've added the jungle wood blocks one block higher instead of where it was before. And other than that, I've also worked on the uh, this building over here. So this one, I still don't know what the purpose of it is going to be. But I've kind of shaped it up and gave it some uh, design so that eventually we can go on and develop it into whatever we wish to develop it into. So that's why I need your ideas in the comment sections to let me know what exactly uh, these buildings should kind of have its value towards what should their purpose be pretty much um, and that's pretty much it I've also transformed the tower by using one of these uh, these little homes they had here uh, so that's pretty much the base of it as you can see it's pretty much the same base and I just extended it up so it looks quite cool At the top we have a little tower it's kind of hard to see it from here but there you go and that's pretty much it and I've also done a few other things to the this used to be the library room of the village and I pretty much chopped off the top of the roof which you guys saw in the last episode and I added pretty much a rooftop um, and it's very similar style to the garden style we have here and that's kind of the theme I want to go with and so far it's looking fantastic and that is pretty much it so today we're going to go ahead and we're going to go work on the market area which is going to be this corner of the town because one it's quite empty there's not as much going on and it's plenty of space to go ahead and add these little market centers which I'll show you guys exactly what it looks like in just a bit I've also updated this farm as well and it looks quite cool as well it's, this one's a little bit different it has the stairs because it's a it's a little bit one block higher than the other one the other one's like a flat surface like this so there was no need but this definitely looks cool as well and i'm pretty happy with it so we're going to go ahead, and I think I already have the wool on me. There we go. I went back. I got ourselves some extra wool, and we're going to go ahead and start working on this simple design. Now, I kind of hope that eventually we'll have the villagers hanging around around here. I'll find a way to bring them over here that they can just stay inside this market area, and that would be the best thing for it. I also have to block off from any mobs nighttime, so I have to build like a small wall around here or something to keep the villagers safe. Uh, so let's go ahead and start. I think the first one we're going to do is going to be right in the ground right here. So before I do that, I'm going to clear up a bit just so that it's a little bit more space around here. Um, I'm definitely going to have different levels. It's not going to be all flat as you guys can see right now. There's a little bit more volume or just different height to this little ground area. But I kind of want to make it as flat, flat as possible so that it all kind of balances out. But we'll see how that works. Let's go ahead and quickly eat some watermelon since we are kind of getting a little bit hungry. But man, look how awesome the view looks just from here with the tower. Big major improvement so far. And I can't wait to continue to develop these uh, current buildings because that's the goal. I want to develop them and transform them. And a lot of you guys might get inspiration from it. So hopefully you guys do. Um, and let me know in the comment sections if you guys have any other ideas on what exactly you guys want me to try and do in the village oasis in the desert so so far i'm pretty happy and i think in the jungle we're going to be building possibly a like a treehouse base of some sorts that would be quite cool to do as well so that's something we can definitely look into um and then there's a few other things when we're going to go back there i want to add uh one more tent 
Uh, I'm going to call them like kind of like set up tents or something for trading. Uh, I have to add something towards one of the buildings that we saw there in the corner. Um, and I'm going to add these tents alongside. It's not just going to be this area. You guys are going to see there's going to be other areas for it as well. Um, and I'm thinking, I think this should be one block lower. Let's try this. One block lower, or one fence post lower, and then it'll just slowly gradually go up uh let's see i think we should make it two we don't really need it to be too big because one it's just gonna be one villager in here and i'm not gonna be often going into this area so it's mostly just for design so i think that's that's good enough so i'm gonna use usually the colors are gonna be a pattern of uh two colors for example right now we're gonna do a green and white and i'll show you guys exactly how this looks so it's pretty much gonna start off with a uh, stripe so the stripes are gonna be what's gonna be uh, the main theme for these tents. So we're going to go ahead and start working on that. I'm just going to make a little pillar here for us so we could just continue. Just walk around here. That will make my life a lot easier. So we're just going to start off with a white stripe here. Um, green, white, green, white. And just continue to do the same thing until we reach the last post over there. And then we're going to go. And I think we're going to do one more same uh, level or same height like this. So let's go ahead and see how this looks. Uh, so now we're going to add one level lower. So we're going to put a dirt block and I think this should look quite cool. And I think it's pretty simple. Oh, no, I messed that one up. Okay. Let's put that back. And that's what we're going to be doing today. Pretty much. This is going to be the main project for the day. Uh, we're going to be working on the market area and that's what today is going to consist of. So if you guys are excited for this and enjoying this little addition, I think it's really looking good so far and it's quite simple. There we go. And I'm thinking maybe we can even add on the end, maybe just one level higher. I don't know if that would look quite good. Um, let me actually go ahead and try something here. Let me just take down all the dirt and see how this looks. I mean, it's not too bad currently. I mean, it's, it's just about to be uh, as simple as possible. You know what? That's actually quite good. I'm, I'm quite happy with that. It doesn't have to be anything too crazy. I was thinking of actually maybe expanding the back a bit more. So let's go see if that works out. If not, then we're just going to leave it how it is. But I think this is okay if we just add one more layer in the back. Why am I messing this up? Okay, there we go. Um, let's go ahead and see how this looks. I think that's okay. Yeah, I think that's a little bit better. Obviously, it kind of looks weird because there's nothing overhanging or supporting. But we could add a slab right over there, kind of like showing support. There we go. That, to me, is, is fine. I think that's okay. Maybe we can like remove that eventually, but for now, I think this is good enough for the tent. Um, it's pretty much very basic. We can actually probably transform the two middle parts and add a little bit of an overhang or some type of design that goes up. But for now, I'm actually just going to leave it how it is. So let's go ahead and remove this one and add the white one back. Here we go. And perfect. All right. So that's going to be the design. It's very simple. Um, obviously, we're going to have a few more different size ones. But I want to go over quickly to this area that I had in mind that was in the back of my head this whole time. That's why I've been kind of uh, stuttering a few times or just missing blocks and misplacing blocks and all that issues I had in there. But this is what I wanted to do because right here is the perfect area for a small little uh, section for a trading unit. I guess a trading center. I don't even know what to call it. It's just like a trading area. Um, so it's going to be the same pattern. Let's go ahead and see how this looks. So we're going to continue to go down and try to make it look like it's like it's almost like a, a roof. But let's see how it looks. Yeah, you know what? That's not bad. And then we'll have our fence post like this connecting it. And it's just a little simple area for trading. So I think that looks quite good. I feel like maybe we could have made it a little bit uh, bigger. So what we could do is we could possibly extend it by doing this right now. So let's go see if this is okay. If we extend it this way. I feel like that looks just a bit strange. Actually, no. That looks quite fine, actually. We're going to go ahead and keep it this way. So let's go ahead and remove these fence posts. And then we're just going to move them over to the front. And I like that. That's one thing that was in the back of my mind this whole time. Because I didn't want to forget it. And it's really important. Because this is kind of like how I want to represent all the buildings around here. Kind of have little sections like this. That would kind of just add life to this place. Um, and I'm really happy with that little addition. I'm also thinking of even adding one here. But it would be too, too claustrophobic. So I'm thinking for now probably leave it how it is but let's go back to our market area because i told you guys we're going to continue to develop this area um now i was almost thinking of kind of connecting these two buildings and making this into two market buildings as well so we're gonna have to do that eventually uh but for now i'm also gonna add i think we're gonna add one more market 
uh, tent. Like, let's add it right about here. Right here is perfectly fine. I'm going to make this one a little bit shorter or a little bit smaller than the other one. The other one's a little bit longer, as you can see. This one will be much shorter. And uh, let's we're going to take a look and see how this works out. I'm kind of just placing these um, or just kind of designing these off the top of just picking a random spot. I didn't really plan that as much through, but oh, it's turning night. Okay, so let's go ahead and actually get some rest real quick. There we go, let's do this. Come on out, turn night. All the villagers are gonna like scatter inside their homes in a second. Come on now, it's turning night, let's go. There we go, nice sunset. Definitely we're gonna have to add more lights around here because that's one of the things that we're definitely lacking. There's only a few and that's definitely not enough. That is why I brought some glowstone, which we might add actually in the market area to start developing this section a bit more. Uh, so let's go ahead and work on this area a bit more. So definitely we're gonna put some dirt around here so we can just block up. There we go, perfect. So we're going to just go red, white, same as the other one that you guys just saw on the other side. And we're going to stick with these two color themes for now until I can get some more uh, wool colors. Uh, I'm probably going to add, add some yellow as well. That's a really easy one to do because there's a lot of dandelions. Um, and there we go. This is pretty much simple. So we're going to go down, I think, one like this. Let's see. And then maybe like that would be fine. I don't know. I'm not really too happy with the way I'm designing these tents. I feel like I could be doing it a little bit better. Um, see, I'm not too happy about that. I'm not, I don't know. I mean, it's not bad. I feel like I could have done better, but for now, I guess it's okay. Let's go ahead and just randomly do that over there. Okay, whatever. I think it's okay for now. I think we'll have a, a time to fix it for sure, but it's important just to get the whole idea up and going. Um, so you guys can just get a visual of what I'm trying to, to do, to accomplish here. And it's kind of simple as you can see. So there we go. It's not, it's not too bad. And I'm almost thinking most times they're actually where it's like opposite where, see, now I almost feel that this should be the front for some reason. Almost that feels like that should be the front. No, no, never mind. I'm going to take that back there. I've seen a few other people do it where this is actually the front because it's a little bit more space, but I don't really mind it like this. It's really simple. Obviously, we're going to be adding more detail to this, but I just want to build as many of these as possible to make this place look really, really cool and complete. Now, I'm going to try a different one over here in the middle. This is going to be more of like a, a circular one, but there's the, the, the well over here. So I'm thinking I could try to place one. I don't know. Let's go ahead and try maybe open up a little bit here. Let's see. Where can I add another one? can definitely try and add one maybe right about here. I feel like it's just too close though. Huh, this is a little bit of an issue. Uh, let's go ahead and try placing one. You know what, we'll just place one right here. Right here should be fine. We'll just have to deal with it. Um, and I think I'm gonna have it like, like this, there we go. Let's go see how that would look. If that's too close, no, that's. I think that's okay. I don't think that's too bad, but I want to make this one a little bit different. I want to make this one like a, a cylinder if possible. So let's go and build ourselves a simple platform or not a cylinder, but I want to make it like a circle. Man, I am really missing a lot of things today. It's been an off day, I guess. All right, there we go. So let's go ahead and see. Right now I'm just placing these higher so that I can kind of create a foundation for how I want this to look. So let me actually, this is actually a good idea. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a circle out of the dirt blocks if I can try to do one. So let's see, It'd be like this. Then we'd have maybe one in the corner. So let's go ahead and see how this would look. So it'd be red or we're gonna have white. Let's go with maybe another, let's go with red over here. Here we go. Let's go see how this would look. This is gonna be a little bit interesting for sure to say the least. Okay, so now this area over here can be so that one has to be, ah, this is gonna be a little bit challenging. So let's go ahead and just, just try to work this one out. Okay, so over here we'll have another red part. Let's go ahead and do that, there we go. Not too bad. And then we'll have another white part over here, connecting kind of both sides. I think it's symmetrical so far, okay, that's good. And then in the middle we'll continue the red part. All right, not too bad, not too bad. And over here we'll do the same. And we'll probably add the middle piece right there. Let's actually block back up. Let's remove this and then simply just attach it so it goes like this. There we go. Nice. All right. Not too bad so far. Not too bad. We'll do the same thing on that side. Kind of add the... I don't know. Should it be a little bit longer? I feel like so far it's okay. 
let me actually continue to work this out from the top. It's actually a lot easier working from the top. So we're definitely going to do that. Here we go. And that's pretty much it for this. This actually doesn't look half bad. We'll put like a little, I guess, white wall on the top there. Let's actually see how this looks. I'm actually quite curious. I don't know how this turned out. This could be really weird or really different. I mean, that's actually not too bad. I can't say that's too bad. That's a little bit different. I think it's needed. I think it's needed. I think I like that. I don't mind that at all. Eventually, we'll probably change the, the red wool into yellow wool. I don't think I have any yellow wool on me. If I do, that'd be... Oh, I do have some yellow dandelion, but I do not have... Oh, I actually could. Let me actually try this quickly. Uh, let's go ahead and craft yellow wool. There we go. We can only do two. <laughs> That's all we got. All right. Well, uh, I'll just show you guys how it would technically look. Let's see if we take one down. So it's going to be a yellow looking tent instead. So it adds a little bit more color here. So that's just for now. I'll just put these two there. There we go. Not a really big difference, but you guys can get the visual representation for it so far. But there we go. That's kind of like the market area taking shape. It's obviously not even close to being done. There's still a lot of things that's needed. Um, like example, making this interior area looking good, including adding villagers around here, pathways. And definitely we're going to be adding some custom palm trees, which is something I really want to do um and we're gonna definitely do that in the next episode as well but so far today was a more of a, a simple episode kind of working on the market area showing you guys a few little things for updates but so far so good in the next episode we're definitely going to be doing a lot of um detailing around here but you know step by step this place is taking shape definitely really like how this corner came out especially with the window there i'm really really liking that a lot and i probably might add another one to this side which we can probably do right now. Let's go ahead and actually just give it a shot and we'll end off today's episode. So we'll do the same thing. We'll just add uh, on the top here. Let's maybe just make it one color. No, let's actually, let's not. Let's just make it two colors like everything else. Keep the same pattern for now. There we go. And then we'll see how this looks. So it's going to be like this. We'll remove the one on the bottom. Same with this side. And I think that's all it's going to be. Just two, two blocks for now. Let's see how this looks. Maybe even one more. I feel like that would be too much. See, we did two over there, so we can go ahead and do the same thing. There we go, and that's pretty much all of it. Now we'll add our fence posts to support it. There we go. Same with this side. Perfect. And I'm trying to think if there's anything else we should add. Eventually, we're going to do more detailing. Like I mentioned, uh, we have some sand. There we go. I just want to fill in this over here. Perfect. Nice. All right. This is looking good. See, it's already looking awesome. Just having two little tents set up next to it for any markets around here. But I'm telling you guys, this place is really starting to look awesome, uh, especially with the little rooftop here. Uh, the farms are looking great. We're still going to have to remodel this building and this building as well, including this little one and the one all the way in the back. So we have a few more big episodes planned out for this. We have th those two over there. So if you guys have any ideas, definitely go ahead and let me know in the comment sections down below on what I should do for other buildings. Um, and I'll definitely make sure to look at it and consider it as well. Also, the room down there is... I'm going to have to work on it in the next episode as well. This room we're going to we're going to design. I still don't know what exactly I want to do. But one thing I actually want to make here is a rabbit farm. And I also want to make like a llama farm over here. So if eventually I can find some llamas, I'd really, really like to have a llama farm or a donkey farm around here. It'd really, really be perfect. So if you guys enjoyed today's episode, make sure you go ahead and hit that like button. Uh, I know it was a little bit choppy today. I am a bit tired, but it was a little bit choppy, but we still got a lot of things done. So if you guys want to see more, make sure you go ahead and subscribe as well and hit that little bell for any notifications whenever I upload. Thank you again for all the amazing support. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button and don't forget to check out the description down below i have a lot of information you guys can go ahead and check out and also august 11th my server is being released so make sure you check it out on friday uh and you guys will see on our website and also on our twitter and instagram the official time that it will be released so thank you again for all the support my name is alex and peace out and stay foxy